Hi, Luke Fannin here, and we're going to run through this question which asks us to prepare the T accounts, balance them off, and prepare the trial balance. So for each transaction, we have to record the information in T accounts. And the first step is to know which account is debited and which account is credited. And that's what I'm going to do here on this page. So same transactions. So each day I'm going to run through pretty quickly, hopefully. So on August the 1st, start a business with 10,000 in the bank. And we look at it from the point of view of the business. So the business is after receiving 10,000 into the bank. So we need to open up, we need to debit the business bank account and then rec who records the giver. And the giver is the person, the investor, the owner. And the name we have for that, when someone invests money in their own business, we call it capital. So that's a new name. It's not that obvious if you haven't come across it before. But it's one that's done always. So bank and capital for these type of transactions. And if we were to prepare T-accounts, and I'll just do one or two so you can see, this would be what the T-accounts look like. And we debit bank 10,000 and credit capital 10,000. And I forgot to put the description in. Next, two motor vehicles paying by check. So bank, the business bank account is paying out money, so it's the giver, and the business is receiving motor vehicles. So we open up a motor vehicles account, and 6,000 in each. And sometimes people open purchases here, and you, but you don't open purchases. Account purchases is only used for purchase of goods, goods for resale. So anything like a motor vehicle is an asset. So it's, it's there's the T account is opened up for the vehicles account. And here will be the entries. Credit debit motor vehicles receiving two motor vehicles, three thousand each. And then the bank is paying out money credited with six thousand euro. Next, bought goods and credit from Ryan. So when you see bought goods, we you're purchasing goods for resale and you're receiving the goods. So purchases is the debit, and they're on credit, so we haven't paid for them. So Ryan is the person giving them to us. So purchases and Ryan are the two accounts. Then the next transaction is sold goods on credit to Hook. So when you sell goods, it's sales, and Hook is the receiver. So debit Hook and credit sales. And then you'll open two. You'll have two new T accounts for there: a new T account for Hook and a new T account for sales. Next is motor vehicles, sold one of the motor vehicles for a check. So bank is the receiver, we're receiving 3,600. Motor vehicles is the giver. Now, the motor vehicle cost 3,000. We want to cancel it out of the accounts. So what we need to do is credit motor vehicles with the original price, which is 3,000. So that's why I have only 3,000 here. And that's going to cancel off one of the threes already in the motor vehicle account. So our debit adds up to 3.6. Our credit is only 3. We need another 600 on the credit side. And that's where we record the profit on sale because we made a profit on sale of 600 here in this. So here, the profit on sale, we open up an account to record the profit on sale of the motor vehicle. Next, paid 600 to Ryan by check. So the bank is giver and Ryan is receiver. On the 7th, bought a laptop by check. So receiving a laptop and bank is the giver and once again it's not purchases because purchases is just for purchase of goods. On the 8th Hook paid for 900 worth of goods so he's giving the money to us and we received money in the bank, received a cheque. So anytime you see cheque it's bank. So bank is receiving 850 and Hook is the giver so we credit Hook and debit bank and he should be cancelled, his debt should be lowered by 900 euro because he's paying for 900 euro worth of goods the fact that he got a discount just uh, means he just paid slightly less. So we, we're out on the debit side, we're lower by 50 euros, so we need another 50 euro on the debit side, and that's where we record the discount allowed. So now both sides, the debit adds up to 900, and the credit adds up to 900. Next, on the August 9th, we damage the laptop, so the laptop originally cost 1200, but now we're selling it for 150 so we've made a loss on the sale of 1050 euro so we're receiving cash and we're giving the laptop so they're the two accounts initially debit cash and credit the giver which is the laptop so 
cash, debit 150, laptop, credit 1200. That's the original cost here. And the same way when we sold one of the motor vehicles, you credit the original cost out of the account. So now that'll cancel out the laptop. So obviously the debit side is short, and it's short 1150. This is where we record the loss on sale, so it's 1,050 and 150, so both sides now add up to 1,200. And on the 10th, we've Ryan is receiving money from us, and we're paying, the bank is paying money, so bank is the giver, Ryan's the receiver. So the balance due to Ryan is 1,300. We bought goods worth 1,900 on the 3rd of August. And on the 6th, we paid 600, so we only owe 1300. And then 1300 by 3% is 39 euro of a discount, so we only paid 1261. So that's what's left the bank, and that's what we need to. That's what our debt will have been reduced by that much. So we're short by 39 on the credit side, and that's where we record the discount. And now both sides add up to 1300. So that is all the transactions. Now you just need to open T account and put the amounts in each of the T accounts. So I'll do a separate video for that. Thanks for watching.